Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with my dot SketchUp. I am interested in making a turtle sandbox, so let's get cracking. Friends, the first thing I want to mention is there is a link in the description that lets you get to the MyDot SketchUp app. When you get there, we are going to choose the home and then create new, and we need the simple template millimeters. We are using this because it's possible when we're done to turn this into one that is 3D printed. When you click on that, you'll note just now you have to be patient and wait for it to load. This lady's here to show us the size of the world we're playing in. We're going to simply hit delete and get rid of her. Click up on on untitled choose SketchUp and then down in the bottom type turtle and put your initials and I'm gonna put a three after mine because I've done this once or twice SketchUp is a click and release program you'll notice that my finger clicks and let's go all the time so right now I'm gonna click the rectangle tool and I'm gonna switch to the circle tool a faster way to have done that would have been to use the letter C which is the shortcut this is the origin I clicked let go. Notice I'm moving out on the green axis. You've got to put the pencil there without clicking. And then I want you to type 40 and press enter. You'll notice that shows up down in the bottom and it makes a tiny circle, which is the size I want to play with. Click on this tool and move down to fit view or zoom extents and it zooms in. If we roll the wheel back and then we drag with the mouse, we can get a neat angle where we can see these one, two, three, four lines. Once again, the shortcut for circles is the letter C. I'm gonna press that right now. And then I'm gonna click up on this end point. I wanna simply move to the next end point, not midpoint, end point. I wanna do that on the red line. Notice click the red line, move to the end point, find the second green axis, click on the end point, move to the next end point, and find this red axis, click on the first end point, and then move to the second end point. It is that easy to create a body and the feet for our turtle. We're gonna put the head right up here, so find the end point that is between the two feet, and then move one, two end points away. Notice you don't move your pencil down and around here. You stay on the outside edge of that circle and it is easy peasy. The next tool we're gonna to use is the eraser. We could have also hit the letter E. Watch this, I'm gonna hit the letter O for orbit so I can look at it from the top, press the letter E on the keyboard and I can easily click with that little circle. Don't use this piece of the eraser use the circle to erase the little lines we don't need that are right here. I'm gonna switch to O for orbit and I'm gonna roll at this chin area. Let's do the letter E again and erase those two tiny little pieces we don't need. I'm also gonna erase this piece inside the face. The next tool we're gonna use is called offset. It is right here, but there's also a shortcut, the letter F. Once again, I'm gonna hit O so I can orbit. If I tap F, you can see it just switched to the offset button. Click and let go, and I want you to type the number 10 and press enter. This makes the ring that we're gonna to use to lift up for our sandbox. We do need to erase these little foot areas real quick. We're gonna do that with E for erase. Once again, you can click the tools. Just when you start designing with two hands, it makes you so much faster. Now we're gonna find the push-pull tool. Once again, it's over here, but I'm gonna just show you. I'm gonna do O for orbit, and then P for push-pull, and you can see it switch. We wanna push-pull the outside of our turtle up, and I'm gonna tell you that we're gonna type 15 and press enter. We're gonna to go to the head, and this is kinda of cool. This little arrow over here, I'm gonna set an arrow that points to it. It allows us to infer heights. So I could type 15, but I want this to be the exact same size as this end point. So by taking the red arrow and touching any part that I care about, it matches the height. Spacebar goes back to the select tool. Notice how this is a different gray. We can fix this by doing right click and just reverse the faces. The faces are the outside of the shape. I'm gonna to switch to orbit and I wanna fix this face too. 
Notice I cannot right click at the moment, but if I hit spacebar for my selection tool, now I can right click and I can reverse that face. I'm going to push pull this out. Once again, P is for push pull. I'm trying to get you to know these shortcuts by heart because they make it so much easier to design. I lifted this up any amount I want. I just want it to look like there's some area for sand inside it. Friends, now it's time to paint our awesome turtle. Friends, now it's time to paint our turtle. We're going to do that with the awesome materials. When you click materials, they give you a few colors. If you hit browse, you can pick many, many colors. You can also pick other cool things like textures, but we're going to stick to colors because this is so small. Our whole turtle is only four centimeters. So pick any green and just start painting it. If you want to paint it all at once, you can drag a box that selects it all and then put your color on in one click. Notice this face does not have paint. If we hit O for orbit and look underneath, it does. Uh, so we simply need to go back to that space bar, click on that face, and I'm going to reverse it. Interesting thing, the paint came through with it. How cool is that? I want this piece to look more like sand though, so I'm gonna pick one of these browns and I'm gonna paint that so it's brown. Friends, the next thing I want to do is quickly give our little turtle toenails. We are going to click on the second of the arc tools, move out to where a toe would be, and find an end point. Click on one. I'm going to move two end points over and click again. And then when you pull out, it makes that cute little toenail shape. Do that same thing again. One click, two click, three clicks. And then another one click, two clicks, three clicks. If you don't like it, you can use Control Z to undo. I like that. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Friends, P for push pull. Make sure you're on the right part. Notice I wasn't. So I'm going to hit escape. This time I do have the right part, and I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to type two millimeters and press enter. And now that I've got that one set, the next time I lift, I'm going to take the arrow, and I'm going to touch the first one to infer the height. So all my toenails are the same height. I'm gonna give them a sweet little orange paint, and then I'm gonna do the same thing quickly on the rest of my turtle. And now I'd like you to repeat that process on the front toes of your turtle. I would like you to quickly use those skills to add toenails to the rest of your turtle. I will do mine off screen in a moment. Let's quickly add eyes by doing C for circle and quickly make a tiny circle. Once you draw the eye, friends, switch to the select tool. You can click it or press the space bar and then double click this shape so that we've got the outside edge and the inside. The next command I want you to use is move. It is right here, but I like to use M for move. When you move to your shape, if you go from the outside to the inside, it snaps to the center and you can move it. If you wanna make a copy, which we do, Tap control on the keyboard and you are instantly in copy mode. Let's do P for push pull and let's lift that up. And remember if we take it and touch one of the endpoints on our toes, it is the exact same size. I'm gonna go to the last eye and I'm gonna connect it or infer the height from the first eye. I'm gonna pick a cool color, paint my eyes super fast. And now let's super quickly add a mouth once again, we're gonna use that arc, click once, click twice, and then pull down to add the bottom of the mouth. I'm gonna to switch to the line tool, which is the letter L. I'll show you, this is O for orbit, L for line, and now we can simply click straight across and connect it. I am going to use that offset command, F, to make it so the mouth is a little bit open. Notice I click, let go, click again when I'm happy, P for push pull, lift this up and I'm gonna match it to the eyes. Let's go find some color that we like. I'm gonna give pink for the fill up here. And friends, we have now got an epic little turtle.
make sure that you click save because it does save to the cloud but you do need to remember to and then in my classroom you need to have a screenshot of your awesome turtle we do our screenshots by clicking the little hamburger bar choosing export and png it lets you adjust your angle zoom in get the exact quality you want and when you choose export png make sure you always choose your download folder which is all the way up on the quick access and make sure it has a name that is good for turning in Alrighty, friends so now we have got an awesome turtle make sure you keep an eye on this if the save button is blue make sure you hit save sketchup does save to the cloud but it has an auto save feature that's every five minutes and if you skip that you could possibly lose your work friends i've thrown a ton of stuff at you really fast i hope you've learned that using two hands is a much smarter way to work with sketchup knowing the shortcuts like spacebar for select o for orbit f for offset p for push pull L for line, R for rectangle, C for circle, allow you to build so much faster and have a much better shot of success. When you're watching my tutorials, it's best to watch an entire section for like a whole 30 seconds. And then once you've seen the skill, then you can actually get to work. Speaking of more lessons, friends, if you visit hlmodtech.com, if you look across, I do have a SketchUp page and you'll be able to track down my favorite SketchUp tutorials. Friends, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, there is also a messaging app. If you ever want to reach out ask a question maybe even give a suggestion that is the fastest way to get a hold of me lastly everybody if you enjoyed making the sandbox please give it a thumbs up if you have a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day